just to say this, this, this takeoff should be very short. We're only expected 100 to 200 meters. So the Solar Impulse 2 should be airborne. In fact, it is now airborne. And there are cheers here from the dignitaries on a sightseeing bus, an open-top bus next to us. There's a crowd of a couple of hundred or so people watching it as it takes to the air. And that is quite, it is a really phenomenal sight. But also you're struck by how slow this plane is moving and how long this journey is going to take. But there it is. The sun has come out too through the fog, showing that the solar-powered cells will be picking up energy right now as it flies across Abu Dhabi. Abu Dhabi has a huge, it's building a huge legacy in green energy here. It's got a, a green really city is. which is sponsoring this. This is an extraordinary sight to see. Uh, it's a picturesque sight with this foggy, foggy morning, but the sun clearly breaking through just to make its point that solar power can be driving something so incredible as an aeroplane. It, it is something crazy to believe that it is just the sun powering that plane here in person. Um, but now it's got a huge journey ahead of it, a 12-hour journey or so to Muscat. It'll be landing this evening, so it won't be traveling overnight. But tomorrow morning, if the conditions are good, then Bertrand Picard will pick up the legacy and take it on to India. And then the real large stretches of this journey uh, will begin.